rates of work brian and rob working together can mark examination scripts in two hours and 24 minutes when marking alone rob takes one hour 36 minutes more to do the same work how long does it take brian to mark the scripts alone so brian and rob working together when they work together brian and rob they take two hours and 24 minutes to mark these scripts so two hours and 24 minutes if you express this one in hours just convert 24 minutes to hours by dividing it by 60 you will get two hours and two fifth and this is equivalent to 12 over 5 hours so this is the time they use to mark these scripts if they use 12 or 5 hours to mark the scripts what about in one hour what fraction of this work would they have done so in one hour they will be able to mark 5 over 12 of the scripts or simply they will do 5 over 12 of the work this is the fraction of the work that they will do in one hour then when marking alone rob takes one hour 36 minutes more to do the same work more than brian so therefore it means that if we let because we don't know the time taken by brian to do this work if we let brian to take x hours to do the work then rob will take one hour 36 minutes more than brian that is what it means so uh one hour and 36 minutes we can also express that one in terms of um hours so rob will take one hour and uh, 36 minutes will be equivalent to three fifths of an hour so that is uh the same one hour 36 minutes is the same as one and three over five hours so that is the first thing you're supposed to do so if we let brian to take x hours then rob will take one hour 36 minutes more so it means rob will take the hours taken by brian plus one and three fifths of an hour so having these now the next thing is to get the fraction of the work or the fraction of the marking that they will be able to do in one hour so if brian can take x hours to do the marking what about in one hour so in one hour brian will do because brian is taking x hours to mark all the scripts so in one hour you'll do this fraction of marking 1 over x of the marking or of the work then rob rob in one hour will take one divided by this will be x plus one and three fifth of an hour will be equivalent to eight divided by five of the marking so now having these we'll be able to form an equation because we have that both of them in one hour they'll be able to do that fraction of the work 5 over 12 then brian in one hour will take that then rope in one hour will take that so since both of them working together in one hour will take 5 over 12 that means if we take brian the fraction done by brian that is one over x plus the fraction done by rob which is one divided by x plus eight over five that will give the fraction done by both of them which is five divided by 12. now this is the equation that we need now to solve and find x remember x represents the number of hours taken by brian to mark the scripts and therefore when you get x we have answered the question
So how do we solve this? By simply, we can get the LCM, the LCM, the least common multiple of the denominators of x, x plus 8 over 5 and 12, and that will be the LCM of these three will be 12x, x plus 8 over 5. So once we get this LCM, we multiply each of these terms. There are three terms, two on the left, one on the right. So we can multiply 1 over x, multiply by this LCM, which is uh, 12x, x plus 8 over 5, then plus, we also need to multiply these by the LCM 2. So let me first deal with the left hand side. Then I'll multiply the right hand side. So I can simplify this one first. So this x and this will divide. We'll be left with uh, 12 times x plus 12 times 8 over 5 will be 96 over 5. Then plus uh, this one again. We'll divide with that. And so that will be left with uh, this will be 12x. So that is the left hand side, the right hand side as well, which is a 5 divided by 12. We multiply by that LCM, which is a 12x, x plus that. Oh, this one will be by 12, 1 by 12, 1. This will give 5x squared plus 5 times this will be 8x. So we have that on the left hand side this one on the right hand side so we can recognize that so on the left hand side we have 12 x plus 96 or 5 plus 12 x is equals to the right hand side we have 5 x squared plus 8 x like that you can see this one is going to form quadratic equation so let me reorganize it uh, to form a standard quadratic equation i we'll have this 5x squared and then this will be 24x 12x plus 12x 24 and i take it to the other side 8x minus 24 i'll get negative 16x and then subtract 96 divided by 5. So what I've done, I've simply collected the like terms together, combined them, and then I've taken everything to one side, that is to the right-hand side. So I can get rid of these uh, 5 here, the denominator, by multiplying each term by 5. Multiply each term by 5, we'll get this will be 25x squared, 16x times 5 will get 80x. Then 96 over 5 times 5 will get 96 is equals to 0. So let's check whether we can simplify anything here. Is it possible to simplify 25, 80? We have no common factor. So to make things easy, we can simply use the quadratic formula. Uh, x will be given by the quadratic formula. And use this it will be minus b which is 80 plus or minus then uh, b squared that is 80 squared which will be 6400 then subtract 4 times a for that is 4 times 25 times negative 96 once you work out that you get plus 9600. Then everything divided by 2 times 25, which is 50. So from there, this one will simplify 2. 80 plus or minus uh, 9600 
plus 6400 16,000 so you get the square root of 16,000 that will give 126.49 divided by 50 so since um, you're getting the number of hours of course here we shall have two answers we ignore the negative because we cannot have negative hours so the one that we'll take is the one that will give us positive that is 80 plus 126.49 since when we take 80 minus 126 that will give us negative number of hours which is not applicable in this case so this is the one that will give us the answer 126 then plus 80 this will give 206 divided by 50 this 206.49 and when you divide these, remember you're going to get this one in terms of hours. So let me divide it and see. Divide this one by 40, by 50, sorry, by 50. This will give uh, 4. Let me see, to 6.49. 4.13 4.13 one hour and this one will be the same as uh, four hours so 0 0.13 0 0.13 of an hour won't see how many minutes those one are going to be so we simply take uh, 0 0.13 will be 0 0.13 divided by 100 then you multiply by 60 that will give us approximately seven minutes so four hours and seven minutes that is the value of x and that is what you're supposed to have calculated that is the time taken by brand to mark the scripts alone